All right, so I'm finally making part two of this uh, Nether Portals video that I started a couple months back. Uh, in that video, we discussed these five uh, five ideas of where you could put your Nether Portal, you know, outside your base. You know, uh, and if you want to go over those designs, uh, see those designs covered in depth, uh, then go ahead and click on that video. You know, linked in the description and uh, uh, also on the little eye icon popping up on your screen right now. But today we're going to be moving away from that and doing five more uh, nether portal ideas, except this time we're going to be covering nether portal rooms. So uh, these are places uh, you could put your nether portal inside your base, and uh, these aren't going to fit inside your average you know, starter house. So when I say base, I really do mean base. Uh, so I'm going to cover each of these in depth, and uh, hopefully you can find something just right for you. You know, when I was a kid, people always told me that reading can take you to another world. I don't think that the nether is the world they had in mind, but that's the one we've got planned for today. So, uh, the first idea I've got is a, a sort of library, if you will. Uh, and now I've left this one pretty, uh, pretty open-ended. It's a very simple block palette, you know, uh, oak wood, spruce wood, a little bit of cobblestone and dark oak, you know, stuff that almost everyone is going to have on hand. Uh, so this is a pretty simple, very easy block palette to work with. And it's a pretty simple design. Uh, so I, I intentionally left this concept pretty open-ended. Uh, you know, outside of the walls, uh, there's nothing super definitive about this uh, about this design other than lots of bookshelves kind of all over the place. Uh, so you could either have this as, you know, the end of one hallway, uh, like I've got this carpet here, end of a big hallway, you could have this as just one corner of a much larger room. Uh, you could even have this in the same room as your, uh, as your enchanting table, uh, you know, with all the books and everything. Biggest downside to this is that... Uh, because there are a lot of bookshelves, that is a lot of books and a lot of leather that you're going to have to collect. So, slight issue with that. Uh, but in terms of actually detailing the bookshelf, it's pretty easy. Just every now and then, uh, what I did was add a, add a slab or add a stair, fences, you know, you can pop one block out and add like a loom behind it or something like that. Uh, make it seem more than just, you know, like it's a, a one block. Uh, one block wall make it have depth. This is also going to be a good opportunity to show you guys how I actually made most of these portals So you see the nether portal itself, uh, you know, the obsidian is covered kind of covered up by the bookshelves and the slabs and the stairs that I have So basically what I have is this front uh, layer of wall Made out of bookshelves and all the other stuff then behind it We have the nether portal made up in this layer and then behind it. We have another uh, another wall uh, just to kind of cover back behind the actual nether portal. So uh, the nether portal looks like it's kind of set into the wall, if you will. And uh, I've got this design kind of down for most of the room ideas that I've been showing you guys today. So uh, anyways, yeah, room number one is the library. Here are all the blocks I used, uh, just in case you've decided that this is what you want to do. At least this is a vast majority of the blocks I used. Uh, so we've got pretty simple room design, lots of books, little arch we made out of cobblestone and dark oak, and we got some lanterns lighting the place. Very nice, very simple design. Number two on this list is one of my favorites, and it's a nice, big, great hall. And this is going to work with almost any base, no matter the palette. Uh, the one I've gone for right here oop, uh, is a darker palette, and this is one of my absolute favorites to work with. Spruce, dark oak, uh, stone bricks, dark prismarine. Uh, it just looks so good. So uh, within this great hall, uh, the way I've got it is we've got this nice dark oak floor uh, made up of alternating dark oak planks and, you know, log or stripped logs, whichever works for you. Spruce walls, uh, and then every few blocks or so we've got a nice big arch. Uh, stone brick arch with a lantern at the top. So I went with the soul fire lantern uh, just because it's a new block and the blue from the lantern kind of works with the blue of the roof. Uh, so we've got an archway uh, every few blocks or so. Then within this last archway here we have another slightly smaller archway made out of spruce wood and uh, dark oak wood. And then behind that, we have our nether portal and just a spruce plank wall. 
Uh, and then along the sides, I have it detailed, you know, as you do, cobblestone, uh, stairs and tables, uh, some paintings, you know, nice big bush right here. Uh, then along the ceiling, I've added slabs and uh, stairs when necessary, just to kind of round out the design. I've also got these uh, these dark oak planks, which serve kind of as support beams. Uh, so the, oh, the whole thing looks very structured, and ah, uh, this is just this is my building pal. This is just how I build, and it's just ah, uh, it looks so good. I I love this style of building, super detailed. Uh, and ah, it just looks perfect. Even the carpet uh, on the floor, we've got a light gray and dark gray kind of rug uh, rolled out along the floor, and we've got interchanging carpet and wool along the floor to give it nice, uh, a lot, a lot of texture, a lot of feel, just in the carpet alone uh, on the flooring. So yeah. Uh, very cool design. Uh, if you want uh, the palette for this one, here are at least a majority of the blocks that I used, so you should be able to pick those out for yourself. Uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool design number two, in my opinion. Now, design number three is not going to work for everybody, but I think it looks kind of cool nonetheless. Uh, we've got this science lab, uh, and this is a stark change from, uh, you know, designs number one and two. It's very flat. It's almost kind of cartoony, uh, if you will, uh, and it's very bright and colorful. Uh, so we've got, you know, very clean quartz floors, white concrete uh, walls, you know, light gray and gray concrete ceilings. we got some redstone lamps lighting up the place, and this whole whole thing is, you know, we got all sorts of science-y, you know, levers and controls contraptions we got this uh energy you know control panel which provides the energy to the portal which is outlined in black and yellow caution you know signs or whatever we got these tubes in the corners we got uh all sorts of redstone stuff we even got a minecart going across the uh going across the wall just to add some some motion into the build uh now, for the portal itself, I tried to make this kind of a hexagon-looking shape, uh, sort of like uh, the Gravity Falls portal, but I, I've also been watching a lot of uh, Hermitcraft recently, and I know Suzuma has been working with kind of some hexagon designs like this, uh, or sorry, Bizuma, uh, as he's going by now. So he's been working with some hexagons kind of like this. Uh, and I'll show you what I, what I mean in the back. So here we've got some hexagon patterns that I've worked out. Now this small one is just five blocks on each side. So uh, it doesn't look uh, like a perfect hexagon. The bigger the hexagon it is, uh, the more, or the bigger the sides, I guess, the more of a hexagon it looks. So this is six blocks on each side. Then we've got seven. Now this is really starting to look like a hexagon. And you can see the design or the pattern I've gone for on the sides. One block, two blocks, one block, two blocks. Uh, then we've got, I believe this is nine blocks right here, and then 10 blocks. So the bigger you go, the more of a hexagon it looks. I couldn't really get too big of a hexagon in here, so it ended up more looking more like a circle, if anything. Uh, but I think it still looked pretty cool. Uh, it still turns out pretty well, and it matches the science-y theme. Uh, so yeah, uh, outside of it being a very flat, you know, flat build uh, in terms of color. I had to add a lot of detail, you know, in the flooring and then uh, all sorts of shelves and stuff on the wall just to add some, you know, some detailing and some interest to the build outside of just, you know, floor, walls, portal. Uh, so, you know, adding a few things like shelves and barrels and redstone contraptions and stuff will really bring your science lab together. So, like I said, it's not going to work for everybody, but it uh, it should work for some people, and it's kind of a cool design nonetheless. Oh yeah, and uh, here are all the uh, blocks that I used for it. Now the next one might be a bit of a stretch, but just bear with me on this one. This next idea should work for everybody because everyone's going to have a bedroom in their house, right? You know, you no matter where your base is, you're going to have a bedroom with maybe a desk, you know, to write your notes on and then a big four poster bed to sleep in, some shelves to hold your uh, your stuff and your lighting, some books to read at night, you know, paintings, wall decor, and then oop, in your closet, boom. You have your nether portal. So uh, this isn't the most practical, maybe, of all the uh, ideas I've come up with, but I think it's a, still a cool concept nonetheless. You know, in here you can store a spare set of armor, or maybe your nether set of armor. Whenever you go adventuring in the nether, you got your set of armor that you're going to put on real quick, and then boom, off you go. You got a mirror to check yourself out. Uh, you know, uh, make sure you're looking nice and dapper for the day. Uh... 
the one issue is, you know, particles coming through your wardrobe. But uh, uh, overall, you know, everyone's going to have a bedroom in your uh, in your base somewhere. So if nothing else, you know, maybe put a put your portal in there if you've got nowhere else to put it. Uh, it doesn't add a whole lot of room. You know, we've got a, a, a slight you know tumor uh, right here on the back of your base. But outside of that, uh it doesn't add too much, uh, too much, you know, space taken up. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of a cool, cool concept that I've actually had a couple ideas for. Oh, also, uh, stuff that you're going to need to build it. So as far as a portal in the closet goes, I had a couple of ideas. You could do it in your wardrobe like that, or you could do something like a big walk-in closet like this. Uh, you know, and here you've got your uh, your chest for storing clothes in. You got your armor stand, mirror again, and then your portal, which is a lot less hidden this time around. Uh, but you know, you got to put it somewhere, and uh, maybe you want to put it here. I don't like this personally as much as the wardrobe I, uh, wardrobe idea. That one had more like uh, you know, Monsters Inc. or uh, you know, Chronicles of Narnia kind of vibes. Uh, but this one's not a terrible idea. Another one you could do. This is kind of like a closet I used to have as a kid. Uh, you kind of walk in and it's just shelves. It's a long shelf, and you come over here. You can get your clothes off the rack, and then you know another armor stand and more, uh, you know, more chest because this this roof is just made of slabs. And then back behind here, you can just walk straight through because uh, you know. Uh, you can walk right under trap doors in Minecraft. And then back behind the curtains, you know, your little portal. So. Is the portal in the closet the most practical idea? No, but does it work? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, yeah, maybe you could at least give me kudos for trying. Now, because we are now officially in Minecraft 1.16, uh, I wanted to do something special for this last portal, you know, uh, kind of uh, a mashup of all the new blocks that they've added uh, to Minecraft in 1.16. So, boom. Here we are. Uh, this is almost entirely new blocks in Minecraft to make up this portal room. And it looks, oh, come on, this just looks absolutely sinister. And it's made up, like I said, of almost entirely new blocks. I mean, I've got a couple of iron bars and, uh, and you know, the obsidian to make the portal. Uh, you know, that's old stuff. And I think smithing tables, I actually use smithing tables for the roof up here. I don't know if those are old or not. Uh, but everything else is completely new. You know, the shroom lights, the, the polished stone, black stone bricks, polished black stone, black stone, you know, the crimson hyphae. Hyphae, is that how you pronounce that? Uh, which looks awesome. And, you know, it even, it even glimmers a little bit, which is really cool. Uh, so, yeah, this just looks... Oh, this is absolutely sick in my opinion. I love all these new blocks. The polished basalt looks really cool on the wall. Uh, adding in some pillars really gives it some depth. We've got the roof held up with uh, more basalt. We've got these soul fire lanterns hanging down from the ceiling. And the shroom lights lighting up the place a little bit more because it kind of needed it. Uh, now this is the one one time where I don't really have the portal kind of hidden up. I mean, it's it's hidden a bit behind these uh, these stairs and the walls, and I could probably hide the top a bit more, but I didn't really feel like doing that for, uh, for this build. And you know what? I think it looks kind of cool as it is. So we've got these pillars, you know, kind of supporting the roof. Uh, they're a bit random and asymmetrical down the bottom, uh, but up at the top, they're all alike, and, you know... Uh, we've got soul fire lanterns, like I said, lighting up the sides and the ceiling, and we've got the shroom lights down on the floor, and oh, I really love a lot of these blocks. And like I said, the smithing table, I think that's what this is. Is this the smithing table? It's the smithing table, which uh, looks really cool from the top as well. So this could be a cool p uh, potential floor. I mean, I'm not going to use it in this build, uh, but you know, in a future potential build, it could be really cool. And, I mean, just look at that ceiling. That is a nice, cool little ceiling design. Come on. I mean, I love the new the new blocks. So uh, this just looks awesome, I think. I'm, I'm sorry. I hate to pat myself a bit uh, on the back a bit too much. Uh, but come on. This just looks really cool. Uh, honestly, Mojang did a great job with these new blocks. Uh, this isn't going to fit a lot of people's base. I mean, maybe if you have an evil layer, like a truly evil layer, 
uh, then this might work. This isn't going to work with a lot of people, but maybe you have a portal room in the nether or something. Uh, and, you know, you need something there. So here you go. Portal, portal room for your nether base or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, you know, come on. This just looks, this looks really cool. Okay. I need to stop talking about this now. Oh, and of course, uh, the blocks that I used. So there we go, our five nether portal room ideas. Uh, hopefully you guys found at least one of these uh, pretty helpful, or maybe you could use at least one of them in your base. Uh, you know, uh, I tried to have a lot of variety in terms of, you know, these ideas and stuff. So uh, hopefully you guys liked them. Uh, if you did, you know, subscribe for more content, uh, building tutorials. Next time, I think I got a comment on how to build with warped and uh, crimson wood. So I think I might give that a try. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Much appreciated. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.